Welcome back, Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoy knife content, please think about subscribing. And if you like my videos, give them a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying the content. If not, give them that thumbs down. Either way, I know which, what, how you feel about the, the video. Today's knife I have for you is the Tucson TS-226. Um, you can buy the, the, the 226 off of Amazon for $105. Or you can try your luck on an eBay bidding war. That's, that's the route I went and I can't remember. I think I might have paid 80 for it. So you can either do that way and try try to catch one at a decent price or you can pay $105 on Amazon and get it shipped to you uh, a little quicker actually a lot quicker because I bought two knives off of eBay and I bought I, I ordered them probably two weeks after I ordered this one and I got this one in I think it took about a week and a half two weeks maybe from I think it's coming from China I don't know uh, but the 226 is a Jelly Jerry design. That name just makes me smile every time I say it. It's funny to me. And this is a full size EDC knife. You have a total length of eight and a quarter inches. You have a blade length of three and five eighths inches. You have a grip area from here to the back of three and five eighths inches as well. You have a width closed in the pocket from here to here of 1.18 inches wide and a handle thickness of 0.49. So a little under the average size of half inch. That's good to see. Uh, your blade stock on this bad boy is 0.14, which I don't usually mine that much on two zones because they usually grind them nice and thin this is a pretty high flat grind and yeah it's nice and thin or for a folder at least um it comes down to 13 thousandths for for majority of it and up in this area it's about 15 thousandths uh take a closer look at this blade you have a satin finish as you can see i've been using you can see the scratching on it and this satin's a fingerprint magnet. Uh, you have dual fullers on both sides, blood grooves, whatever you want to call them. You have a, uh, a weird shaped, looks like a racetrack or something, cut out in the blade that you can use for deployment. It has been, it does have a chamfer around it to knock off the edges. So it's not not sharp you also have a chamfer on the on the spine so it's not sharp as well uh, your point is it's, it's it's a little beefy you might be able to do a little bit of light prime with that uh, you have a perfectly executed sharpening notch you will not get any smile on the back of that blade it passed the plunge line you have the Tucson logo right there, and you flip it over, and you got the Jerry Jelly logo right there in the blade steel designation, which is 14C28N, stainless steel. And that's a budget steel. It performs nicely. I enjoy using it. Uh, you have a set of jimping right here that I would call it uh, mild traction. It's, it's not really that grippy. It doesn't matter to me because I don't really like jimping. And it also acts as a semi ramp right there. Let's close this bad boy up. It is riding on ceramic bearings and ceramic detent ball. You have several forms of deployment. You have a flipper tab with the jipping as well. So you can light switch it. It comes out nicely. And if you want to put your finger on that point, you can uh, push button it as well. It comes out comes out a little bit harder when you uh, push button it you can also uh, slow roll it you can spotty flick it let's see I don't know if you can yeah you can thumb flick it and 
and you're supposed to be able to use this portion as a front flipper because that's why they went up with it like that and put you know to set it up like that but the way it's set up when I'm put when you're pushing force on it you're basically pushing into this pivot you would have to come up a little bit higher for this design especially you know with the finger in this area even if I put it right here I can I can kind of get it out I can slow roll it out by like breaking the detent and then coming the detents a little little strong for that to work and or be comfortable at least I mean I'm sure some people can do it I surely can't I can usually flip a front flipper like this one right here I can flip that with no problem this this one's not set up that great uh, you have a uh, just a semi decorative pivot with some like milled spots right there and then you have a, a collar that is either aluminum or titanium I think it's titanium I'll have to test that it's not it's not magnetic and it's very lightweight um, you have a blasted frame that has the milling lines left in it, inlaid carbon fiber that is not totally flush. It sits a little proud of the scales. You can feel it. It's not an issue to me at least. You have a T8 construction on your body screws and your pivot screw right here you lock bar insert and over travel. You can see those mill, milling lines a lot better on this side. And I like how they put the carbon fiber on both sides. It's it doesn't match exactly, but I mean it, they did a they did a pretty good job. They matched the, the top part. This part is in the lock area, so they couldn't really do it there. Um, they have a lanyard hole right here. You have a titanium backspacer that's flush up to right here and then they uh they made a point right here up to here just some added flare and it comes up high enough so you don't come in contact with that tip and the blades recessed enough to where you're not going to come in contact with the blade action's good Nice and snappy. Your lock up is around 40% access to the lock bar, even though it's flush with the uh, the locking liner, the show scale is. They did a chamfering in right there. It's nice and comfortable to get in there. I have no problems disengaging that lock bar. Uh, your blade to handle ratio is pretty good. It's almost all the way to the end of the scale. You have a contoured titanium pot clip with the milled lines in it as well. No sharp areas, good retention. Uh, let's see what it looks like. It's not a deep carry, but it sits, it sits good in the pocket. So you have that much sticking out and it's up against the side right here, so you have a, quite a good bit of room to get by until you come in contact with that flipper tab, but I don't ever notice that to be a problem. You can grab on by the, uh, the screw, pull it out. I'm sorry if y'all hear my dog, he's barking. Um, no internal milling, but they did some outer milling before because these carbon fiber inlays weighed nothing. They're super light. So that's basically like some external milling. The spots that, to put those in. Uh, let's get a weight on this. Four point two six ounces. Perfect for me. Um, not in that ounce and inch by no means. About an ounce off. Let's get some size comparisons and then I'll talk about some of my nitpicks complaints. Uh, let's see, you got the Rat Model 1. It is bigger, longer. Rat Model 2 is going to be smaller. Uh, what else do I have right here? Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Pretty much the exact same length and the Kershaw Blur. 
muffler is a little bit shorter. That's probably the best size comparison. And best tech kendo is a little bit longer. And the American Cold Steel American Lawman is about the same length as well. The American Lawman is just a tad bit shorter. All right, let's talk about a few of my nitpicks, complaints, things I noticed while I was carrying and using this knife. Um, the first thing that I noticed was that front flip, I, I hate it. I hate this being there. I, I may remove it eventually, make it, make this all go one flush spot because I, I don't really like front flippers. And especially this one, it just doesn't really make sense. It doesn't it's really hard to use like that. I can slow roll it, which, you know, whatever. Um, so I don't really like the, the design of that. I think that's a bad design for more than one, not just because it's hard to front flip, but whenever I'm, I'm holding the knife, I can either try to overshoot it and I feel the back of this, it doesn't hurt, but it's just not, you know, the most comfortable, but I could always use the hammer grip, which is just fine nice and comfortable in this grip you don't feel that pocket clip I can bear down on it this grip is fine like this but just that that ramp I mean you'd have to choke back to like hold on to that ramp that's it, it doesn't really function there and they did that for that front flipper but you can overshoot it if you want and that that's fine but I think main concern is I just don't like the front flipper um, let's see the next thing mine came off centered and I took it apart to see what's going on in there and I evidently got a lemon uh, I most of my my two sons are pretty spot on with everything and for the most part they do a good job but this one this one could have been um, made whenever some of their tooling was wearing out or something and I noticed when I took it apart that the inside counter bore, counter bore that the bearings and the race washer sits into is is real rough and it's not perfectly round and it, the, the depth's not right on one side. So I think that's the main cause for the blade to be off center. Probably something I could fix later down the road if I, if I wanted to. But the action's good enough. I mean, it, it's nice and snappy and it's decently smooth uh, it's almost drop shut give it a little give it a little shake it goes down there so I'm, I'm fine with that it's a it's a user I, I love the aesthetics of it I think it's beautiful looking uh, but that's just something to note you know you're not gonna always get perfect uh, perfect blades another thing I noticed uh, the, I'm a flipper tab I, I I'm I'm real I don't care how I don't care that it's a bigger flipper tab I, I kind of rather this size than those little bitty tiny flipper tabs that you gotta have a lot of texture jumping on there to, to catch onto your finger I'd much rather I'm about this size but the design of the flipper tab the way it's pretty much straight this way you, you can either light switch it which I don't get that great of a flip and it it really wants to be push button, but when I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down on that point right there. And while it's it's not the most uncomfortable, it's not that comfortable. Um, something that I would have loved to see either, you know, uh, a flat spot up there to where when I push down, it doesn't hurt, or the flipper tab kick back this way some. I don't think I have any examples. Let's see, kind of like this. They do, Fair and Forge does such a great job of executing their flipper tab. Not only is theirs canted back that away a little bit, as you can see, compared to this one, it also has a flat spot. This is the Fair and Forge Stinger that just came out. It has that flat spot to, uh, you know, do your push button, and then if you want to light switch, you just pull it back. This is just not the best. Uh, design execution in my opinion kind of uncomfortable but it does work and I could I could always just body flick it if I want or flick it out with my thumb Oop. 
Now I can't do it. Nope. Look at all my thumb. There it goes. Three times the charm. Uh, and this, this last thing is just, I don't know. I'm, I'm OCD about certain things. And that pocket clip, it drives me crazy that the pocket clip is just kind of canted down like that. I would have much rather it be like pushed up a little bit so it'll be it would have been parallel with the uh top line of the scale right here not a big deal it, it doesn't get caught in the uh, in the hole so that's good it kind of goes right by that not the end of the world and not something that i care enough to where i'm gonna uh, try to fix it myself but something i just want to note so overall i love the design i uh i love the the, how they thin the blade out there uh, it's, it's fairly comfortable in this in this grip the action is pretty good and I love the fact that it has multiple opening methods so if any of those nitpicks complaints are deal breakers then don't buy the knife if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below if you like my video Give it that thumbs up, like I said before, or a thumbs down. Either way, I just want to know. And I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.